Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Mr. Secretary. Good morning. <laughs> uh, before I begin my questioning, uh, I wanted to convey a personal note of thanks to you, sir. Uh, when you were sworn in as Energy Secretary, your very first visit was to my beloved city of Oak Ridge. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You took the time to sit with me, go over the issues that were critically important to our community. Uh, and I have thoroughly enjoyed working with you and look forward to working with you uh, this year on our endeavors. Uh, Oak Ridge is a special place. It sits in two counties, Anderson and Roan counties. It's got a great history from the Manhattan Project forward. Its people are outstanding, and they're committed to what we're doing. There's so much there, uh, national security. Uh, leading the world in innovation. I think we have the premier lab in ORNL. I know our distinguished chairman might have some other thoughts, but I did get him to visit, and he brought the committee. <laughs> Not bad. That's right. And we brought some potatoes along, too, um, from Idaho. But um, the legacy cleanup activity has been incredible. It's going to be long term, but we clean up and re reclaim there. But when members of the majority and the minority visit Oak Ridge, uh, as you have done several times, uh, there is a wow factor. It is just so critically important. So I want to thank you again uh, for your, your dealing with those things uh, with me and working with me. I know there are times when we agree, there are times when we disagree, but uh, I have appreciated that working relationship, sir. Mr. Secretary, uh, I know you have been closely involved with the decision making on the uranium processing facility, the UPF, that is going to replace Y-12, which has done a great job given the uh, nature of the facility, the age of the facility. Uh, this committee has been very clear on the need for UPF. Would you kindly update me and the committee on the design progress made in the last year, sir? Um, I would say quite, uh, quite Good. The um, the uh, the first uh, project, the first part of the project, uh, in terms of the, some of the site preparations, et cetera, uh, have been uh, have been completed. Uh, in fact, I just happened to <laughs> bring uh, a a flow sheet uh, that has uh, uh, there are six main projects to the end of the of the project in roughly 2025. Uh, the first on site readiness is completed. Um, uh, and uh, the second on the site infrastructure and services uh, is uh, well underway. Uh, then we will go into a next stage. And by the way, in FY17, we do request a significant. Uh, uh, then uh, in the fourth quarter of 2016, uh, we will have the baseline for stage three. Uh, and uh, and then in the uh, eventually in the fourth quarter of 2017, we expect to have the baseline meeting 90, 90 percent design for the last two parts of the project, getting eventually to the main process building. So we think this is going. We think this modular approach and 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 again the red team uh, that Tom Mason uh, led was very important for that. And uh, uh, we think this is a this is a. Frankly, a superior approach, I think, to the initial design that was having <laughs> cost challenges, and I think we're just on a good on a good track. Mr. Secretary, thank and, and it you. is very important that that we do the UPF. Yeah, thank you so much, and I appreciate your commitment to that project. Um, you alluded to the uh, fiscal ramp up in in fiscal seventeen for additional funds, and for the benefit of us all, can you please talk about the funding challenges? And how we can keep the project on time and on schedule. Well, I think the uh, uh, first of all, uh, keeping the project, you know, on on schedule and and on budget uh, uh, is clearly very important. And here, uh, I uh, I I would say that um, a few things. One is uh, I think our su substantial revision of the project management structure at the department. Uh, is uh, uh, is is taking hold, and I think I think it's working well. Uh, uh, certainly, our um, uh, our our target is to uh, keep at least almost all of our projects within, say, ten percent of kind of the design design parameters. Estab we established a new risk a risk committee. Uh, we've institutionalized the whole structure. It meets 
The risk committee meets every week uh, going over projects. Uh, uh, our deputy associates, uh, our, no, our associate deputy secretary uh, uh, is, uh, play, plays a major, a, ma a major role in there. Uh, the, uh, we need to keep the discipline of not so-called baselining until we have at least 90 percent design completion of projects. Uh, I think we just got into so much trouble uh, before with uh, putting out numbers uh, for a schedule and cost that just did not have a basis in, uh, in, uh, in design. Third, I think that uh, uh, we think that we need to uh, adopt, and I think the UPF is a good example of it, adopt more the philosophy, if you like, of the uh, Office of Science, uh, which over the years has been by far the most successful uh, in executing uh, major projects among our three major project, uh, I shouldn't say executioners, uh, but uh, science, uh, science, uh, defense programs, and uh, environmental management are the three places where uh, very, very, very large projects occur. And what I mean by that is that once there is a solid baseline, et cetera, uh, it doesn't mean that problems don't arise. But when, they, but when they do, you work to keep the project in the budget box and not just have aut the automatic reaction, oh, okay, well, we'll just keep the, the, the project escalating. So the UPF is an example where it, it, then a fundamental relook was done and the modular approach, uh, the modular approach uh, uh, introduced. So I think that that's, that's what we're doing and, and, and right now I think it looks, looks pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I see that our distinguished full committee chairman has arrived, so I'm going to uh, yield back uh, to the next round. But again, let me thank you again, and the future at Oak Bridge uh, will be bright. Thank you, sir. Thank you.